Good afternoon, everyone. Amen, amen. Amen. Welcome to our 11 o'clock service. If you don't mind standing, let's give honor. Well, honor is due. Amen? Amen. amen? amen. Well, praise God. Amen. Amen. We're going to be coming from Psalm, the book of Psalm, the book of Psalm, 27th chapter of Psalm, beginning at the 11th verse. And it reads as follows. Teach me your ways, O Lord, and lead me in a smooth path because of my enemies. Do not deliver me to the will of my adversary, for false witness have rised against me, and such have breathed out violent, I would have lost heart unless I had believed that I would see the goodness of the Lord in all in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. I just read you Psalm 27, the 11 through the 21st, I mean, the 11 through the 14th verse. God words for God peoples. Amen. Amen. Oh, Lord, I need you to help me. Oh, Lord, I need you to help me. Help me on my journey. Help me on my way. Oh, Lord, I need you to help me. Yes, yes, Lord. While I'm down here praying, I need you to help me. Oh, Lord, while I'm down here praying, I need you to help me. Yes, yes, yes Lord. Lord. Help me on my journey. Yes, Lord. Help me on my way.
just want to say thank you, Lord. Mm, yes. Father God, Lord, once again, Lord, I just want to say thank you, Lord. Mm. Lord, I know there's going to be many storms, Lord. We're going to have to go through, Lord. But I thank you, Lord, that they're only temporarily, Lord. And then, Lord, I thank you, Lord, for sending us through the storm, Lord. Because, Lord, you have instilled your word in us, Lord. Because you said in your word, Lord, that you would never leave us nor forsake us, Lord. And we just want to say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for this to be in the source, the source of all our blessing in life, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for just being there for us, oh, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for sending us through another day's journey, oh, Lord. But, Lord, whatever you do this day, Lord, please, Lord, never take the spirit away from us, oh, Lord, because in your spirit, Lord, there lies our hope, Lord, our hope for a better tomorrow, Lord. When our days are getting darkened, Lord, we see hope, Lord. When we're weak, Lord, in your spirit, Lord, we see strength. Oh, Lord, and we just want to say thank you, Lord. Lord, in your spirit, Lord, when we are sad, Lord, we see joy in your spirit, oh, Lord. So thank you, Lord, for spirit, Lord. Lord, for those restless night, Lord. Lord, in your spirit, Lord, we see peace, Lord. We see rest, Lord. But most of all, Lord, we see you, Lord. So how thank you, Lord, for giving us that mindset, Lord, to always, always, Lord, put you first in everything that we do, oh, Lord. Let us know, Lord, it's not about us, Lord, but it's all about you, oh, Lord. And I just want to say thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for that day, Lord, that you so fit to touch each and every one of our heart, oh, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for that, for your son who went to the cross for our sin, Lord. It's all because of that day, oh, Lord. 
It's all because of that day, Lord, and I want to say thank you. Thank you, Lord, for giving me, Lord, what I don't deserve, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for that mercy. I thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for just being God and God all by yourself, oh, Lord. Lord, I thank you, Lord, for going to the hospital, Lord, and visiting the sick and the shut in, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for that, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for helping us, Lord, to pray for those, Lord, who don't, who, who not able to pray for themselves, Lord, or who just refuse to pray for themselves, Lord. We're going to pray for those, Lord, that the one that's in, on drugs, Lord. We're going to pray for the prostitute, Lord. We're going to pray for those that's spiteful and misuse us, oh, Lord. And, Lord, we just want to say thank you, Lord. We ask you, Lord, to just continue, Lord, to build us up, for we are torn down, Lord. We ask you, Lord, to lead us and guide us, Lord, that we continue on this now or past, Lord. And we just want to say thank you, Lord. But at the end of the day, Lord, at the end of the day, Lord, we just want to say thank you, Lord, for your victory, Lord. And we hope and pray that everything that we did throughout that day, Lord, it was a reflection of you, oh, Lord, so that you might continue, Lord, to get the honor you might continue to get the glory, Lord, because it's all about you, O oh Lord. And I'm asking you, Lord, to continue, Lord, to remove Larry. Remove me from the situation, Lord. And wherever you see fit, Lord, you put your grace, your mercy, and your love there, Lord. And, Lord, I just want to say thank you, and we love you. It's in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Let the church say amen. 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 We're going to continue to praise him. Lord, I'm running. Yes, Lord. Trying to make a hundred. Ninety-nine and a half won't do. Lord, I'm running. Yes, Lord. Trying to make a hundred. Trying to make a hundred ninety-nine and a half won't do. Lord, I'm singing. Trying to make a hundred ninety-nine and a half won't do. Lord, I'm praying, yes, trying to make a hundred, ninety-nine and a half won't do. Lord, I'm praying, trying to make a hundred, ninety-nine and a half.
We thank God for our devotion that was led by deacons this morning, giving honor to God. And I would like to welcome each and every one of you to our 11 o'clock worship service, to pastor, to mother, and to each and every one of you. Give God a hand clap of praise. The scripture tells us, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. So is there anyone glad to be in the house of the Lord today? Is there anyone glad to have the activity of your limbs, clothing your right mind, got your blood running warm through your veins? So let us stand this morning for our responsive reading which will be coming from John 1 and 1. And we have it on our screens for you. It reads, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And our response is? Yes. It we what? Yes. Amen. At this time, I ask that you remain standing for our morning hymn, and then we will have our scripture reading by Deacon Frank Sanders. Come on, let's sing, there is death. Come on, and sinners plunge. Come on, lose. Come on, lose all. Lose. And sinners watch and see. Come on, loose, loose. Come on, let's go to the second verse. The dying, the dying. Anybody glad he washed all your sins away? Come on, wash all, wash all. Come on, wash all, wash all. Come on, let's go to the third verse. Dear, dear die. Thy prayer shall never. Till all, all the ransom. Sin. 
Come on, be saved. Be saved. Be saved. Come on, till Come on, let's sing it like we mean it. Be saved to sin no more. Come on, one more time. Be saved. One more time, no music. Be saved. Be saved to sin no more. Come on, give God glory. Come on, give God glory. Come on, you know there is a fountain filled with blood. Give God glory. Give him glory. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Can we please stand? Well, y'all, I will be reading you Romans chapter 5, verses one through five. Therefore, bring justified by faith. We have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom also we have access by faith unto the grace wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations, also know, knowing that tribulations worketh patience, and patience worketh experience, and experience giveth away hope, and hope maketh not ashamed, because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. I have read to you Romans chapter 5, verses 1 through 5. Amen. 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 At this time, we're going to have our ministry and song by our male chorus, which will be followed by recognition of our first time worshipers and then our ministry in tithes and offering. If you need somebody to hold your little hand, I'd like to recommend you to the Lord. If you need somebody who will always understand, If you need somebody to hold your little hand, I'd like to recommend you to the Lord. He will never, he will never, never leave, leave you alone.
If you need somebody who will always be there, Amen, amen, amen. Once again, good morning, everyone. I'm here to recognize our first-time visitors. Do we have any first-time visitor? Would you please stand? We want to recognize you, amen? Amen. Amen. Well, praise God. Amen. We're all family, correct? Amen. So, you know, we're all family. You're going to look around, and you're going to give them the greeting of the day. So, good morning. Hey, or afternoon, or however you want to say it, man. Amen. All right, on behalf of our pastor, our Bishop Carl McCone, his lovely wife, CEO, Christine McCone, and the entire Delville family, I want to just say welcome to each and every one of you. You could have been anywhere else, but you showed to come out and give God a portion of your time and fellowship with one another. And we just want to say thank you for that. But right now, we ask you also, as the Lord continue to minister you, we ask you just to open up your heart and your mind. And in this message, you just might find something that will help you along this journey. And that's our prayer to you, to help you along this journey, Lord. So once again... You are welcome, you are welcome, and you are at home. Amen? Amen. Amen. Good morning. I'm standing here for A and A B on a roll. I think everyone should have received their report cards by now. So if your child has made the A on a roll or A B on a roll, there are forms in the information room. Please put them um, in my box on the Sunday School office door as soon as possible. Um, hopefully we can have them all in by next Sunday as your deadline, and we can get those to your children as soon as possible. Amen? Amen. Amen. Good morning, family. I would like to just make a quick announcement to our parents and our youth. Uh, rehearsal for our youth, I mean, our pre-resurrection Easter program uh, is on Wednesday night. 
doing uh, about 645. So uh, parents, please have the youth that have signed up to be a part of our Easter program here. Those who desire to be a part of it, I ask the parents to bring them out also on Wednesday night, 645. Also, I would like to make one correction on the program. Our final rehearsal will be on the 30th, which is that Saturday at 10, not 1030. 10, from 10 to 11, and then we'll go into our pre-resurrection -res activities. So parents, I need our kids out on Wednesday night, then our final rehearsal will be that Saturday. So we only have two rehearsals, um, so if you desire your children to be a part, please have them out. A lot of announcements today, ain't it? Amen. It's a great event coming up at the end of this month. I'd like to invite all of you out to join us in our pre-resurrection day fun day. Please come out and bring your kids out. Bring the kids out for the rehearsal, like Sister Hour said, it's starting at 10, not at 10.30, as in the bulletin. That's a typo on my part. Please forgive me, count it to my head, not my heart. Amen? But each hour earlier, there should be a tasking sheet inside your box. Please check it today to make sure that you pick up that tasking sheet and what we're asking you to do to support the pre-resurrection day activity day. Amen? Amen. 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 Thank you. Oh, amen. One more thing. Hey, one more important thing. Amen. Amen. Our up and coming men's retreat. Let's get God a hand clap of praise. <laughs> Our men's retreat is going to be next month. Uh, myself and Deacon, myself, Deacon Kevin McKinney, and Deacon Otis Smith, uh, Brother Vernon Kiris, uh, Mr. James, Brother Deacon James Howard, and there's a few more. See one of us if you need a reg uh, registration form for the men's retreat at the end of the month uh, in April. Amen? Amen? And as we always say, ladies, let them go. Let them go. Brothers, Come on out and join us. We have a fun time. It starts on Thursday, ends on Saturday morning. If you're going to talk to any of these brothers, then they can explain more to you about it or tell you about it. But please come out, brothers, and sign up and support us at our men's retreat. Amen? Amen. 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 Well, guess what time it is? Hey, it's giving time. It's a cheerful moment, huh? God love it. What? Yes, he does. Amen. Amen. You know, that's a, that's a blessing in giving. Amen. Amen. God love a cheerful giver. Amen. 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 In front of me, I have the good ground box. You want to plant a seed and watch it grow, you put it in the good ground box. Your tithes and often goes in the, uh, the basket the deacons are holding. You need a tithe envelope. The usher's here to assist you. Amen. Amen. Guess what? Let's give honor. What well, honor is due, amen? If you are able to stand, let's please stand. Yes. Praise God. Amen. Amen. We're going to go to Malachi 3 and 10. We're going to begin by reading right now. Bring you all your tithes into the storehouse. That there may be meat in my house. And prove me not herewith, said the Lord of hosts. For I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing, that there shall not be room enough to receive it. Church, get ready for your blessing. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father God, Lord, once again, Lord, we just want to say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for allowing us to see the rising of the sun. Just one more day, oh, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for being such an awesome provider, Lord. So therefore, Lord, help us, Lord, to be cheerful givers, Lord, and give you back a portion, Lord, which you have so richly blessed us with, oh, Lord, because it all belongs to you anyway, oh, Lord. Help us, Lord, to just be obedient, Lord. And, Lord, we just want to say thank you. And, Lord, as we given it, Lord, we hope that it will be used in the manner which it was given, and that is the uplifting of your kingdom. Let the church say amen. 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 
Amen. Sin approved faith to sin, I approve faith to wall. You are now in the hands of the ushers. Amen. Take the Lord with you. 
everywhere you go. That means if you're in the grocery store, the, world, the Lord should what? Be with you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is good. At this time, we're going to have our praise and testimony service. Is there anyone that has a praise report or a te testimony that you would like to share this morning? Hallelujah. I just rose to tell you all, thank you for your prayers. Keep on praying. My husband's still in rehab. He's starting to move a little bit. He hadn't walked yet. But to God be the glory, as the mother said this morning after Sunday school. To God be the glory. Yes. For all the things that he has done and he's going to do. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 Oh, I thank God I put food on my table because I want to see this song. <laughs> God had smiled on me. He has set me free. God
I stand up to give honor to God today and thank him for all this journey. Give honor to the pastor and first lady. I thank God for 51 years of marriage. Amen. Amen. <laughs> and I must say, it's nobody but God. Amen. But God. Amen. He's been good. Yes, he has. And I'm looking for 51 more to go. He's been good. Amen. Any more praise reports or testimonies this morning? Happy anniversary to Elder Pastor Cedric Smith and Prophetess Beverly Smith. God is good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is good. I'm just going to tell you, I'm glad to be back in the house of the Lord. Had a back surgery, had 29 staples, but somebody said, but God. I truly thank God and give him glory for being my healer, my restorer. God re pressed the reset button. And so I give God all the glory and the honor. I feel like a parent that's at their child football or basketball game, and they got the ball, and they dribbling down court, and they getting ready to shoot. I feel like just saying, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We may call our kids that all star, but uh, Jesus is the ultimate star. So I give him glory for that today, because God is good. Hallelujah. At this time, we're going to prepare. Amen. We have another testimony. I want to give God the glory, and I want to thank him for me being here and all the things that I have gone through or our family has gone through through the years I suffer I always say a functioning um, depression and sometimes I'll set my clothes out I'm gonna go to church that's the day of or the day before I'm gonna say I'm gonna go to church but then when I get up or later on I might be drained of energy or I just decide I don't want to go. But this morning, I said last night I was going. This morning, got up, our great grand dog was sick and he had to go to the vet yesterday. And I had to go get him some Pedialyte, but then before that, I had decided, well, I'm not going to go. And I was using the dog as an excuse. So I went on and I got him Pedialyte. And on my way back home, I said, I'm going to church no matter what. And, and 
I want to apologize because I always tell my children, you come as you are. But if you have, she would say, well, Mom, I'm going to a church that you can wear jeans. I said, well, baby, to me, come as you are means if you got it, wear it. If you don't, you come in what you are in. And I just want to apologize for my workout clothes. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Anyone else? If not, let us pre prepare our hearts and minds for our altar call. I don't know what you may be going through. I don't know what's on your heart this morning, but God does. And he said, we don't know what to pray for, but he says that the Holy Spirit make intercession for us. So we invite you to the altar this morning. Maybe you need a miracle. We have these chairs here for you to exercise your faith. Believe God for the impossible. Because God said he can do all things but fail. Prayer will fix it for you. We'll fix it for you. Then pray, pray. God have His way. I know that prayer will fix it for you. I know that prayer will fix it for you. I know that prayer will fix it for you. Oh, whenever you pray. Most gracious and heavenly Father, we come to your throne of grace today, Lord God. Father God, before we make any requests, God, we just want to tell you thank you, God. Thank you for another day's journey, Lord God. We thank you that you kept us all night long, Father. We thank you, Lord God, that you are our Alpha and our Omega, God. Our beginning and our end, God. We thank you, oh God, that you said that you will never leave us nor forsake us, Lord God. You pose the question, Lord God, is there anything too hard for God? So, Father God, that's why we come today, God, placing all our trials, all our tribulations, God, all our worries, God, all our frustrating frustrations, God, all our heavy burdens, Lord God. We place them in your hand, Lord God, because we know that you are able, God. We know, God, that you will not let us down, Lord God. We know, Lord God, that you said that you hold us in the palm of your hand, oh God, that the devil in hell can't pluck us out. So, Father God, we said thank you, God. Father God, we thank you, oh God, for you told us to come to you, oh God, because you said, oh God, that your yoke is easy, oh God, and your burdens are light, Lord God. So, Father God, we arrest the enemy right now, God, in the name of Jesus, oh God, and we loose your spirit, oh God, over this place like never before, Lord God. Have your way in our hearts, God. Have your way in our minds, God. Have your way in our homes, God. Have your way in our marriages, God. Have your way in on our jobs, God. In the 
mighty name of Jesus. Because, Father God, can't nobody do us like you can, Lord God. You told us, Lord God, to cast all our cares on you, Lord God, because you care for us, Lord God. So, Father God, we lay them at your feet today, Lord God, because we know, oh God, that you have never failed, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, you told us, oh God, just to have faith the size of a mustard seed, Lord God. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God, raise us up, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uphold us, oh God, with your powerful hand, Lord God. Some of us are weak, oh God. Some of us are tired, Lord God. Some of us are at the brink of giving up, oh God. But Father God, we speak hope today, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God. We lose encouragement on today, Lord God. In the mighty name of Jesus. You told us, oh God, to look to the hills, Lord God, where all our help cometh from, Lord God. You said, oh God, that you are the shepherd, oh God, that we shall not want, Lord God. So, Father God, we're going to take you at your word today, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus. You declare that all things, Lord God, shall pass away, oh God. But you say your word, oh God, is your word, oh God. Your word, oh God, that shall remain, oh God. Because, Father God, we've seen you do it before. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. We've seen you do it before, oh God, and we know you can do it again, oh God. So today, God, we say have your way, God. Have your way right now, God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God. I pray for those that are under the sound of my voice, Lord God. I'm asking you to meet them at their need, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, we thank you for the blood, God. Father God, we lose your blood in this place today, Lord God. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. Because your blood never changes, Lord God. In the mighty name of Jesus. For Father God, if it had not been for Jesus, oh God, we know we wouldn't be here today, Lord God. But we want to tell you, thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah, God. Thank you for being a way maker, God. For making a way out of no way, Lord God. Thank you for being a doctor, oh God. In a sick room, Lord God. Thank you, oh God, that you are a lawyer. Hallelujah. Yeah, God. In the courtroom, oh God. Father God, no matter what man say, God. We know, God, you have the final say, Lord God. So today we say yes to your will, God. Yes to your way, God. And we declare any way you want to bless us, Lord, we shall be satisfied. So, Father God, as we go back into our seats, Lord God, prepare our hearts to receive your word, oh God. And we declare that it will fall on good ground, Lord God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we declare we will not leave this place, Lord God, the same way that we came. We ask, oh God, that you lift up every hung down head, Lord God. We pray, oh God, for the grieving families, Lord God. Give them peace, oh God, that surpasses all understanding, Lord God. And Father God, we will forever give your name the praise, the honor, and the glory as we go back to our seats, Lord God. We will yet praise you, Lord God. We will say hallelujah, hallelujah, and we will declare thank you, thank you, because it's already done. In Jesus' name, amen.
he 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 rose he rose he rose in some good news for y'all. He got up, yeah. He got up. Anybody know? He got up. I'm so glad he did. He got up. Come on, that long, but he got up. They put nails in his hands, he got up. They put ribbons in his feet, he got up, yeah. Anybody know he got up? They put a crown of thorns on his head. I'm so glad he did, he got up, he died late one Thursday evening, yes he did, stayed in the grave all day Friday, stayed in the grave all night Friday, stayed in the grave all day Saturday, stayed in the grave all night Saturday night, but early, early, Early one Sunday morning, he got up. He got up, yes, he did. He got up, yes, he did. Got up, got up, got up, got up. He got up, yes, he did. Got up, got up, got up. He got up, got up, got up. Your sins and mine, he got up, got up, yes he did, he got up, he got up, oh yes, oh yes, he got up, yeah, I'm so glad, I'm so glad 
said he got up. He rolled. He rolled with all power in his head. I'm glad he rose. I'm glad he rose. He died for you. And he died for me, but early one Sunday morning, he got up, he got up, he got up, yeah. Amen. We know. We know. We know he got up. Hallelujah. Come on, put your hands together for the Lord. He did. He got up. Please be seated in the presence of the Lord. Oh, yeah, he got up. We thank God. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. He got up, yeah. We thank God for, for the grace and the mercy that he has so given unto us. We thank him for this hour in which we celebrate his getting up out of the grave. He just didn't get up, he got up with something. with all power in his hand. Mm. And I'm, I'm excited about that. And, and see, I think that that should take away worration. When you know who you belong to, you shouldn't worry. You just trust him. Now, now I'm going to say this and I'm going to go and get this. You know, I'm not going to say if Jesus got up. When Jesus got up. <laughs> now, he ought to be able to do something else. <laughs> if we worship him, just like he got up out that grave, <laughs> he'll get up in us too. Come on now. You see, the Lord is, is looking for worshipers. Those who appreciate <clears throat> him going through all that he went through. Just want us to worship him. Drawing your attention to... Acts chapter 2. Acts chapter 2 and verse number 20. I'm sorry, 46. And I want you to hear these words. And they, continuing daily, with one accord in the temple and breaking bread from house to house, did eat their meat with gladness and singleness of heart. Amen. I want to share glad to be in the service. 
glad to be in in the service. <laughs> glad. Excited about being in the service. That's what the word of the Lord said that they did not do it one day, they did it daily. <laughs> And that was one word that stood out to me. It said they did it on one accord. Yes, and they were doing <laughs> the same thing. They were worshiping and praising Almighty God. I don't think, Mother, they had time to look at somebody else. They were busy. <laughs> See, when you think about where the Lord done brought you from, you, you, you don't have time to look at nobody else. Because we know without a shadow of doubt that the Lord's been good to us. And I believe that I don't need to prime nobody to get them to praise the Lord. All you do, need to do is just think about it. And you think about how good God has been to, to us, where the Lord has brought us from. And... Nobody should need to ask you to clap your hands off. If anything, they ought to be trying to tell you to stop. Because I don't know about you, but that's just a, a certain amount of excitement that, that happens when I think about it. And when we look back and see where the Lord has brought us from. Now, now you heard that right. He brought us from. But have you ever thought about what he brought you through? <laughs> you know, I, I, I think now there's a difference in from and through. <laughs> and mother, when I think about him bringing us through, the through part was when somebody was thinking you wasn't going to make it. <laughs> had an already sign sign you out and that's why when they see you they take a quick look again <laughs> see can't nobody tell your story like you <laughs> and see I, I, I told you you don't have to be hanging over a spider web in hell and God deliver you to have a testimony. You know, did he wake you this morning? Yeah. Did you have something to eat? Yeah. <laughs> did you have clothes to wear? Yeah. You had that roof over your head? Yeah. Now, did you have something to go in your stomach? Yeah. See, you ought to be tearing the pews up. Yeah. Because there's some folk who don't have that, but are yet praising Almighty God. Come on here. God is good to us. And I, I, I'm just excited about the goodness of Almighty God in our lives. Well, the, the Word of God shares with us that Christians have a right to be excited uh, because the Lord has done great things in our lives. 
And when we, when we look at the text, it describes to us the gladness and the oneness that the early church fellowship had. And the Lord will have us to take notice that they were excited about worship. <laughs> they were so excited about it that they began to move from house to house. That they would not allow it to die down. We're going to keep it moving. They prayed for the sick. <clears throat> And they continually praised God for what he was doing. And they come to understand the power that was in praising God. As they began to praise God, they began to see certain things take place. And what I'm wanting you to see today is, is that there's something about your praise that unlocks whatever holds your blessing back, that praise unlocks that and causes it to flow. And the Lord will have us to understand that I want you to be glad. Why? Because it is the cousin to joy. <laughs> Come on, y'all. See, because things happen to us, we should see that as God's opportunity to move and use us in the world in which we're living in. That God is not going to allow the situation to get greater than he is. Come on here now. And that's what I get joy about. I don't mind things happening because I know that God is not going to allow it to get greater than he is. Well, well, prove your point. Well, because he says that I, I will never leave you nor forsake you. So he's not going to allow the situation to get greater than he is. But what does Satan do? He make us think that that situation is going to overtake us. But God is saying all the time, not so. But there's something about feeling a thing to be so and it actually being so. And that's where Satan work is with our feelings. Hmm. Because I believe that the word is true. And what God has spoken, God will do. Isn't it so? So now, when the Lord said that he will make a way, guess what? He will make a way. So when the Lord said he will make a way, all I need to do is get in the way. Come on here now. And what I want you to see today is, is that there ought to be a certain amount of joy <laughs> in the Christian life in spite of what they might be going through. Uh, uh, because I do know without a shadow of doubt that God didn't bring you this for the leave you. And the situation that you find yourself in is to unlock your praise. Good God Almighty. Said, so, so since you won't praise me, I'm going to give you a reason to. I wish I had a witness. Uh, see, since you just think that everything ought to go your way, let me show you that uh, you got a reason to praise me. Uh, and, 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 and the Lord is saying that we don't need to be cranked up to praise. So all we need to do is just think about the goodness 
of Almighty God in our lives. And we just move forward and let God have his way. We do not have to worry when God says that he is the way. When God says he's the way, the truth, and the light. He said we don't have to worry because of the fact that if we are in him, the way is already made. Uh, I believe that the problem being is that we live too much in traditionalism. <laughs> that it was like this yesterday. It's got to be this way. They no, uh-uh. What God allowed yesterday might have been to bring me to the day where I praise him. I'm just trying to find out if anybody here know what I'm talking about. You see, how many times have you been in a place where you thought you wasn't going to make it? All right, there we go. There we go. But look at you now. Come on, think about it now. I see, Satan has his way of causing us to think that we are not going to make it. But we have to understand that there is a human side. <laughs> and there is a spiritual side. And we cannot allow the human side to overtake. Come on now. So, so how do I do that? I stand on the promises of Almighty God. I know what God said about the family. I know what God says about sickness. I know what God says about making. I know what God said. That's what I'm going to stand on because that's what God said. Come on now. Now, it, now if I need something to, to prop me, to hold me, then I can look at, he said he saved me. And he saved me, therefore he'll keep me. Are you all following me now? Well, what are you saying, Pastor? I'm saying that no one should have to charge you up to make you praise God. <laughs> he said, what, what the psalm says, I enter into his gate with thanksgiving and his court with praise. In other words, when we come in the door, we ought to be skipping. <laughs> We ought to be excited. Why? Because something is getting ready to change. Now, I might come in one way, but I'm not going to leave the same way that I came. Because when I enter into his presence, Lord have mercy. Come on, y'all. Yeah. And see, that's what God will have us to live by is the word of his promise. Not how we feel, not what somebody say, but what did I tell you? Amen. You see, and the problem being, son, is that God is not talking because we're not reading. We're depending upon other folk <laughs> to tell us when we need to be talking to God ourselves. Mm. Come on now. And you see, if you have a daily reading, where you're reading about God working and moving, you ought not to have no worry whatsoever. Because if he did it then, <laughs> there you go, he can do it now. And you see, I'm going to say this, I'm going to move on. You know, God is always looking for a witness. <laughs> and he says that I can find my witness in the church. Mm. Now, he's talking about the building. He's talking about you and I. Now, watch this now. If I need somebody to live a life for somebody else to see that I can, I'm going to choose you. <laughs> Why? Because I know you're going to make it. Why? Because you belong to me. Come on, y'all. Come on, come on. If I need somebody to prove that I'm a healer, I'm going to use you. <laughs> 
<laughs> Why? Because you know that I can heal. You know that I will heal. If I, if I need somebody to know that, that I can make a way out of nowhere, I'm going to use you. <laughs> Why? Because I've already made a way for you, and, and all I need you to do is testify to the fact that I made the way for you. Come on. Now. See, see that's, that's what it's all about. You see, we have changed this thing into uh, a showcase. <laughs> and, and all the Lord wants is the church to represent him on this earth. Come on now. And see, that's why certain things happen to certain people that don't have them to other people. You want to know why? Because God knows what you can stand. And he knows what you can. Come on, y'all, come on. He knows how much you can bear. And so, so when you look at somebody else and see them going through, you start praying for them. Why? Because you just might be next. Are you all with me? Well, praise God. Let me... Let me get back over here. So when the Lord has blessed us, there ought to be a certain amount of joy. Now watch this. All week long, I've taught. <laughs> I've gotten up, I went to work. I've been misused and abused on the job. And now, Lord, it's Come the day of worship. <laughs> you tired. You, 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 you can't go to church. Uh, you know they don't, they don't want you over there, you know. So, so why don't you stay at home? Uh, you, you can worship God at home. Uh, ain't nobody going to say nothing. Uh, because half of them at home and I. So why don't you stay too? Because the Lord said, don't forget. To assemble yourselves together. Now watch this. He said, the reason I want you to come together because I want somebody else to see how good I've been to you. <laughs> and when they, when they see how good I've been to you, then you see how good I've been to them. Guess what y'all going to do? Yeah, oh, come on, throw them up in there. Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna go praising Almighty God. Now, now here's the key to it. When you start praising God, see that person with the problem don't know that it's finna be worked out. Come on. <laughs> yeah. You came in the house of God because he said, Don't forget, we start praising God. You are going to be the beneficiary of the praise. Come on here. God is going to move in your life. God is going to move in that situation. God is going to take care of that. Because, come on here. See, we got something to be excited about. The Bible said that they went house to house, praising Almighty God. Come on, y'all. And as they praise God, things begin to happen. Oh, God, thank you. And we as Christians, we are glad because mm, we have been, listen to that, we have been blessed. God to my. Mm. Don't look at being blessed. <laughs> look at the fact that I am. I am blessed. So, so if I am blessed, can I get a smile? Mm. <laughs> you know, if I am blessed, you know, can I get a hallelujah? See? You, see, you see, that's what the Lord is saying. saying you, you, you always living in the past and not the present. See, you need to start confessing the fact that I am. I am blessed. Well, you, you don't have no car, but I'm still blessed. <laughs> oh, you live, you live over there on welfare. Oh, but I'm still blessed. Come on, y'all. Come on. I'm trying to take you somewhere. Oh, you live in the bottom, but I'm still blessed. Uh, you live over yonder where all that crack it, but I'm still blessed. 
Uh, you live over there where all that cussing and hellin' is going on, but I'm still blessed. See, and the, what they don't understand is that you in the midst of that so the blessing can start. Oh, yeah. Come on here now. Come on here now. And when you start confessing that you are blessed, you're going to change the atmosphere. When you start confessing the fact that God has been good to you, you're going to change some situation and some circumstances. See, the church is too quiet because we think somebody watching us, excuse me while I tell you the truth. I want you to see that God has been good to me. I want you to see that God done brought me from a mighty. I want you to see that God is in the blessing business. Hallelujah. Yeah. It ain't got nothing to do with what I'm driving. It ain't got nothing to do with where I live at. It ain't got to do with what I'm wearing. It's got to do with what's coming out of here. <laughs> you, know, you know what? Everybody may not be able to drive a Mercedes. Everybody may not be able to live on the house on the hill, but everybody can say, I thank you, Lord. I bless your name. I magnify your name. God, I lift you up. <laughs> what God is saying, if you are going to gauge me by materialistic stuff, then you're not going to say too much. <laughs> but if you're going to deal with me, with the inner man, <laughs> that when you had come to that stop sign and the other folk didn't stop. <laughs> <laughs> when you were in the store and you came out and somebody was robbing somebody but they didn't rob you come on I'm going to keep it simple <laughs> when you went to your cupboard it wasn't bad <laughs> but there were some who didn't even have a cupboard to go to and see these are the things that the church should be excited about. We, we get excited about materialistic stuff that's going to pass on. But what we ought to be excited about, that I'm saved. I mean, I believe Mother sings a song that says, I'm so glad that I am saved. I'm so glad that I am I ain't gonna say no more. That's it. Go ahead, you can say you can finish it. And I'm and it said, and I'm sanctified. And I've been set aside. To show the world who God is. That's why when I'm down, I get up because I say, praise the Lord. When I don't have nothing to eat, I say, praise the Lord. When I'm sick in my body, I say, praise the Lord. Everything that happened, I got to praise the Lord. Why? Because he have called me to be a praiser. Why don't you look at your neighbor and say, let's praise him. Come on here, let's praise him. You got sickness in your body? Come on and praise him. You got trouble? Praise him. Your praise is going to unlock. Come on here. The devil has got the blessings locked up, he thinks. But when you start praising God, you're going to use the key that's going to unlock. And your blessings going to start. Oh, yeah. Here they come. Here they come. Here they come, here they come. So the church, the church was excited. House to house. <laughs> Praising God. Come on, y'all. And see, and what the Lord is saying to the church, you the key. <laughs> you, you, you the key. Now, now, some people don't believe this, but you're the key to somebody else's blessing. 
You're the key. See, that's why Satan tries to keep animosity in the body. He's trying to keep division in the body because he knows that the blessing then said in one place, it travels. <laughs> come, on. come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. See, see, Miss Brenda, you throw your hands up. Somebody gonna say, what's going on? And then all of a sudden they say, oh yeah. Uh. <laughs> because God brings back, come on here, to your memories. I've been good to you. Mm. Said I, 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 I've been good to you. Say your son and your daughter made it because I was good to you. Come on, y'all. See, see what God is saying. He said, "You the key <laughs> to nothing but good things happening in your family's life." And then if something just happened to come in, you're praising will make it disappear. <laughs> Good God. Let me get through here. Y'all don't want to go. Mm. Y'all don't want to go with me today. But I'm telling you that the Bible said, and they, <laughs> see, he, he, he was not focusing on them. But he said, and they. And, 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 and then he said that, that something happened. He said, there was a continuation on a daily base. They didn't do it one day and stop. They continued daily praising Almighty God, coming together and worshiping. So the Lord says to the church, know your purpose. Your purpose is to give. Because <laughs> I told you that I will supply. You so worried about getting that you can't give. But I told you that I would supply all of your needs according to my riches and glory. In other words, you can't stop me from blessing him. And, and see, the thing about it is that stop believing in these witches and these witch doctors and these palm readers and mm -mm, mm -mm. no, no, hear your palm reader right here. If you open this up, come on, y'all, can I? Come on, gonna make you mad here. This is your lottery ticket. Come on, I'm, I'm going to prove it to you now. I'm going to prove it to you. This is your lottery ticket. Whatever, come on now, you need. What did he say? God said, I will supply. Why? Because God got it. Come on, come on, y'all. Come on now. You, you're going to sleep. I'm going to go sleep on if I have all that God wants me to have right here, all I have to do is stay with it. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Okay, Lord. Thank you. Oh, you said you would? Oh, thank you, Lord. Uh -huh. You did what? You can't raise the dead? Well, yeah. Uh -huh. See, 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 some folk dead and don't know it. We always looking at 
physical death, but there's some spiritual dead folk. And God is saying, you need to wake up. You need to wake on up and understand that if it had not been for me on your side, you wouldn't be where you are right now. And the, the Lord is saying, what I need, I don't need no bench warmers. I need some praisers. I need some worshipers. I need some folk that don't mind worshiping me when they're sick, when they're tired, when they're angry, when folk fussing at them, when they're being misused, but they're yet praising me, they're yet magnifying me. Why? Because they know that I am the way maker. Well, let me, I'm on food now. Let me close it, mama. <laughs> See what God is saying to the church <laughs> says that you have a reason to praise me. You know, when I, and I don't mean, I'm, I'm not picking on my baby, but when I look at mahogany, and I have to go back them way, them, them, them years way back in, <laughs> when they used to tear the church up. Uh, but we didn't give up on them. Didn't give up on them. Pray for them. Believe them. Look at them. <laughs> See what, what the Lord is saying that if you train them up <laughs> in the way they should, should go. See, we worried about them going, but should go. They need to know the way to go. And when they know the way to go, sooner or later I put some in the way where they have to choose the way to go. Come on. Oh, let me get to it. So here was the church. The church. Going to house to house. They praising God. They said we got a reason to be happy. We got a reason to have joy overflowing in our hearts. We got a reason. <laughs> See, the Lord has been good to us. <laughs> it said, when they came to destroy the church, the Lord sent a man to teach us about the way of the Lord. Paul said that the Lord will take care of you. He said that though it seemed that the world is overtaking you, but he said not so. Because God has a way of taking care of you that man just don't understand. He said as we were traveling on the sea <laughs> and all of a sudden a great storm came upon the sea and the men got weary and they got afraid and they wanted to abandon the ship but I told them no don't abandon the ship there is safety <laughs> in the ship Come on, y'all. So therefore, when they obeyed, though the ship may have wrecked, <laughs> but not a life was lost. The Bible said that some of them <laughs> went to safety, floating on wood. Come on, y'all. The very thing that could have destroyed was the very thing that saved. Come on here. Are oh, you coming now? And see what the Lord is saying to the church is that don't let Satan fool you that I can't use what he done throwed against you to work for you. <laughs> he might mean it for your bad, but I know how to turn things around. I wonder if I got a witness in here. So the Lord says to the church, said, you are my witness. And what I want you to do is learn how to praise me in the storm. 
Don't wait until the storm is over. The praise me. I want you to praise me right now. I wonder if there are some praises in the house. Good God Almighty, there's a story told about a young man who was sitting in a wheelchair. And every time the preacher would say something, he would clap his hands. He'd come in the church clapping his hands. When the choir would sing, he would clap his hand. So somebody asked him, why are you clapping your hands? You are in a wheelchair and you cannot walk. And he said, I'm clapping my hand because I don't want to wait. I don't want to wait till the storm is over. I want to clap my hand while the storm is going on. In other words, he said, I know the Lord will make a way somehow. And I'm not going to wait to clap my hand. I'm going to clap my hands. I'm going to do it now and prove to the world that God is on my side. I want to ask somebody, do you have some sickness in your body? Go on and clap your hands and tell that devil, I'm not going to wait till I get my healing. I'm going to clap my hand right now. Do you have some trouble in your life? Go on and clap your hands and tell the devil I'm not going to wait till the trouble is over to clap my hands. In other words, I'm going to get excited about what time God can do. I'm going to get excited because I know that God is a way maker. Good God Almighty. I heard the brother singing their song. Good God Almighty. But what I want to tell you, too many of us is quiet and the Lord has already blessed us. Too many of us is quiet because God has already blessed us. You ought to tell your neighbor, I'm going to clap my hands because I'm already blessed. Good God Almighty, I'm going to clap my hands because I'm already blessed. Good God Almighty, I'm told today that Jesus got excited. I'm going to the cross. I'm going to die for mankind. He didn't wait. He gave up his life for mankind. But this what I want you to see. Good God Almighty. When he died, when he died on the cross, it wasn't over. When he hung his head in the locks of his shoulder, it wasn't over. When they took him down and laid him in the bar of tomb, it wasn't over. Good God Almighty. But early, early, yeah, on the first day morning, he got up out of the grave and declared all power was in his hands. Let me show you what he did. He raised his hand toward heaven and said, all power in heaven and earth is in my hand. I want to tell somebody, you got the power for your healing. You got the power to work your way out of your trouble. You 
got the power to help your family. You got the power to move forward. So why don't you tell the devil, I'm not going to wait till the battle is over to clap my hands. I'm going to clap my hands. I'm going to do it right now. The reason I'm going to do it right now, because God is a way maker. God is a healer. God is a deliverer. God is a provider. Why don't you tell your neighbor, God is. trust in the Lord Lord I am in the Lord until
Come on, let's give God a hand clap of praise for the word on today. Just look at your neighbor and tell them, I am blessed. Amen, amen. At this time, Mother, do you have any words? Amen. We thank God for what our ears have heard and for what our hearts has felt on today. I want to just compel you, don't wait and say I get saved tomorrow. God has given you the time now to give your life to Christ because tomorrow is not promised to you. If you know that you're in a backsliding state, God said in his word, I'm married to the backslider. Come back to him. God don't judge you like man may judge you. So if you are in that place, I ask that you come now. Because there's something that's coming that you got to be in God's hand under his umbrella to be kept. If there be no one, let us stand. Just want to put a reminder out that uh, the church will be going to Mount Zion today right after this service. All that can and will are uh, asked to join our pastor with going to Mount Zion. Let us pray. Most gracious and eternal Father, we thank you for your word, God. We thank you for your very presence, Lord God. Now, Father God, as we leave this place, Lord God, but never your presence, we ask that you go and that you be with us, O oh God. And Father God, we ask that you keep us covered under the blood of Jesus, Lord God. And whatever we may face this week, Lord God, we know that you are with us, God. And for that, we said thank you, Father God. Now, Father God, we pray that you watch over us as we are absent from one another. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. amen.